Hey everybody, welcome back to Thumb FPV. Now today I have a new mod today for the Snapmaker 2.0. Um, this is for the A350 series because they finally have made a glass plate for it. Now I've been waiting for one of these and it's not technically made by Snapmaker but it says it's for Snapmaker. I have it today. It's a perfect fit and I'm going to get it put together for you. Here's the box that your glass bed will come in. This is by Go3D. You got this off Amazon. I'll show you that. I'll give you the link to that here in a minute. But um, I have already opened this and used it just to check it out. Make sure that it's a good um, buy to get. Wouldn't want to lead you to get junk. But when you receive this, open it up. It's all nice and safely packaged. You foam all the way around it and a little protective sleeve the top here the overall dimensions on this is 334 by 364 I have tried getting another plate that was similar to the claimed size of Snapmaker before to match it up when I obviously should have just measured the bed to begin with and it did not come up right but after some searching around I was able to find this and this works great so here is the plate, it is clear, there is a Go3D logo to the side right there, and that is all is in the box. Um, in addition to this, you're going to want to get some clips for it. Some people use the paper clips, um, I do not. I'll have a link for these and a picture of these in the description as well. These are bed clips that you can get, fit on really nice and easy, screw on the yellow hex driver slot there to the bottom of them to put them on and I put mine on to the side of the bed they do fit just inside the vertical towers of the snap maker really nice and neat so we're gonna get that put on and I'll show you how to do that so before I put this together the first thing I always like to do is get everything nice and clean I always clean down the surface of the heated bed and the 3d printer glass bed I just use a screen cleaner and a nice cloth, everything wiped down, make sure there's nothing stuck to it. Wouldn't want anything to be in between the heated bed and the glass plates. Have a plate here. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel the tag off the side. It's a little nylon sticker, so it's not going to leave any residue. But I will still clean it just to make sure. And the other side as well. The littlest thing can throw off your bed from being level and lead to a lot of pain. Especially when you're trying to get it level and you have it clamped down in four different places. It could be a spot here and it'll just throw the whole thing off. So, here are the clips. And just inside where the last bolt goes is where I had mine. Put them with the bolt on the bottom. That way you don't have to worry about your head running into anything. And you do not want any form of collision. Just hold that in place. It doesn't have to be too tight. Just enough to stop it from sliding if it happens to make a quick movement get this one in here ok 
and like I said, not too much force, just enough to keep it on. And don't drop your tool. We'll bring this all the way forward, that way you don't have to worry about messing around in the back behind all the wires. Once it's snugged up, I just give it about three quarters of an inch or three quarters of a turn on it. Like so. All right, so that's done. I'll show you how to do the calibration on this real quick, because you do not want to use this with the original calibration mode for the um, original pie board that comes with the Snapmaker. Um, this is too thick and you will run into it. Okay, so before you do this, uh, make sure that you're using a new end. Don't ever try to calibrate a bed or anything with a used end. There's always a possibility there could be something gunked up on it. I mean, if you want, go ahead. Myself, personally, I will always use a fresh tip. It literally costs like 50 cents, if that. There's no reason not to. So we have the tip on. here for the screen we have our snap maker is loaded everything is on and swipe to the right and we're going to go to calibration now when you're doing this make sure that you are going to do this under manual As you can see mine at the top says manual calibration right there you do not want this to go to auto. If you go to auto, it'll go down to the original default height and you will hit the side of the bed. So I'm going to give this a look real quick and make sure that we have enough clearance to start. I'm going to show you real quick what I'm talking about. So this is not the best angle to show you this, but this is where the snap maker will come down. Original height right there. And I'm going to run this right off the side of the tip and it is very close to the top of that. So before you do anything, I advise that you take and you use your pendant. You go to the 0.5 millimeter, tap up at least twice. Because when this comes through, it's going to come straight across here and you don't want this to hit. Actually, I'm going to do it a couple more times just to be safe. Okay, so we have that up. Now we're going to calibrate it. So when you're ready, go ahead and hit next. It'll start you to the first point. I still have my original Snapmaker calibration card here. Okay, so the first time I did this, I ran this so that the card would just slightly catch underneath the tip of the nozzle when I was bringing it down. Um, on the first run for that, it printed like super thin. It was actually a pain to get off of the bed to begin with. So I'm going to leave it just so it barely touches there's zero resistance on it let me start by bringing down the tip it's 
so good. Still good. And it's just touching it. Just I can just feel it click on the edge. There's zero resistance on it. You just feel it lightly slide underneath of it. So that's where I'm going to leave that. Same thing with spot number two. Just lightly touching right there. Same idea for the third one right here. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other six steps the same way. Once you're done, your machine will return to midpoint range for the head thing here, and your print plate will be midway through the rideway for the rails here on the bottom. So the next thing to do with this real quick is to go ahead and get a bed leveling print going. Okay, so from Thingiverse, I have selected the bed leveling calibration test object, parametric. Uh, I was going to try something different, but we're going to go with this instead. I'm going to download the file and get it loaded into the program and see how this turns out. Here we are with the file. This isn't going to show up, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this in. We have our nine pieces right there. Can't really see them because I decided to bring them up white. Let's see, X and Y, I'm going to, I'm going to increase this, go to scale, there we go, move, bring this back, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Like so. Alright, so from there, make sure you have your right setting. I am just going to do this on a fast print. Typical settings here, nothing special. Also make sure that your material settings are correct. Generate the G-code. Looks like we're going to be printing under the Snapmaker logo somehow. And let's see here. So we're going to go to Export, Workspace. Give your screen authorization. Now you have to home out your coordinates. Wait for that to happen. I'm really glad that there is a full-size plate for this available. Um, I was hoping that Snapmaker would have came out with one on their own after the fact. They still have not. Um, I'm a major fan of printing on glass. Love the adhesion a lot better as well as the overall quality of the print. You don't get that weird little texture on the bottom of it. Yes, some people like it. I do not care for it. But here in the corner now, we are going to send it to the device. It has been sent, and now we're just going to sit back and watch it print. And now the print is done. You can see here all the different parts of the bed leveling test are complete. They all look good. Take them off, measure them if you want. You can adjust your thicknesses afterwards. Uh, I'm pretty happy with mine right the way it is. But that is the calibration test complete after installing the bed. Okay, something I wanted to share real quick. Um, if you wanted to do a more elaborate calibration test than the one that I performed, um, I did a 3x3. Three three. You can go into your settings, under your 3D printing right here. 
go in you go to your calibration grid and you see I have the auto leveling turned off because that way it won't go down to the original height but if you go to your calibration grid you can also choose the 4x4 or the 5x5 which will give you better calibration I have always just used the 3x3 real quick it's pretty solid pretty stable um, as long as you have a good solid surface there's no reason why you should have to do any additional points but if you want to you can do that as well so that's the plate for the stamp maker I uh, hope you guys like this uh, like I said I'll leave the links below if you're interested in checking this out for yourself feel free and make sure to like and subscribe